Hi, I'm Hugh Sullivan, videographer for the Herald and Review, and uh, lately I've been gushing a lot about technology and how amazing everything is, especially uh, when it comes to our phones and being able to film anything anywhere. And uh, I'm about to talk about that again. It's just incredible to me that you know there are millions of people all over the world who are constantly taking photos and video and capturing their surroundings. And as a storyteller, you can just reach out to those people to help you create something. In 2010, uh, Ridley Scott and Kevin McDonald called for people worldwide to submit footage for a project called Life in a Day. They had 80,000 people from 192 countries share videos from their day on July 24th, 2010. And, uh, and then they put it together into this big film showing what one day looked like all over the world. And uh, even though I didn't participate in that project, I did help my friend Adam uh, film his submission. I really didn't think too much about crowdsourcing after that until recently I was on a cruise with my wife where uh, the band Matchbox 20 was the headliner. And uh, after the cruise, they released a little bracelet that had a USB uh, like thumb drive and it had all the MP3s of the shows. And so while I was listening to the uh, MP3 from the main concert, I got thinking about you know the difference between having good professional audio of a live show versus something that you took on your phone. And uh, even though the MP3 is professional quality audio, it's, sometimes it's still nice to go back and watch those shaky videos from your cell phone because you get to relive that moment you get to you know go back to your perspective where you were standing in the crowd and see all the action that was happening on stage it's just it's a different dynamic but normally the audio is garbage you're too close to the speakers there's people singing around you and so that's the kind of the trade off and then i got thinking well why don't i put the two together i'll take my good video with the crap audio and i'll mix it with the good audio once I got started doing that, I realized that, well, I only had a couple songs filmed, but I know, you know, hundreds of people who were standing around me that were all holding their phones up and filming different songs, and I got thinking, I bet, with all those people standing around me, we probably have the whole concert filmed. And so uh, there was actually a Facebook group with all the people who were on that cruise, so they could all kind of talk and share their experiences. And uh, when I got on there and, and mentioned this, I was just flooded with videos. Everyone was sending me their files, sending me to your, their YouTube channels, and uh, pretty soon I, I was working on this big project. And speaking of crowdsourcing and bands, uh, recently my wife and I hosted the band Scars on 45 for a living room concert at our house. Uh, it was part of a, a fundraising thing they're doing for their next album. So they're hanging out in my living room and we got talking about filmmaking and I was telling them what I do. And uh, the keyboardist, David Nowakowski, or Nova as he goes by in the band, uh, started telling me about a film that he made uh, through crowdsourcing. Nova's a big fan of the Bradford City soccer team, so when they went to Wembley for the second time in a few months, he wanted to do something to commemorate that. So he had fans send him clips of their day when they were going out to see the game. And uh, he ended up getting a thousand clips and stitching together about a 13-minute film that kind of documented that entire day leading up to a 3 to nothing win against Northampton Town. So something that just kind of started out as a thought, hey, this could be cool, snowballed into this big project for him. And uh, and that's just really cool that that can happen and that that's a possibility for anyone now. There's just so much potential in the fact that you can count on the rest of the world to be your eyes and ears. If you want to tell a story, odds are there's somebody out there right now that's capturing a part of that story. So that's something that I find really inspiring and uh, something that I, I didn't even really think about when I started doing it until my wife pointed it out. And, uh, and so I'm going to keep thinking about ways to, to use that uh, as I move forward as a storyteller. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to this channel. Go check out my personal channel where I uh, share some of my funny stuff. And uh, check back every week where I talk about my experiences behind the camera.